Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day three of my canoe trip here. It was a very, very cold morning. Um, I had all the layers on, and until I got some coffee and some uh, warm food into me, I was shivering, I'm honestly. <laughs> um, it took me a little bit to get ready this morning. I've got all my gear here, just gotta throw it in the canoe. But I was just really trying to avoid putting damp clothes on, but it started to like mist again and I had a dry sweater on. I was about to put under this wet rain jacket and I was like, okay, keep the dry sweater for later. Put the wet stuff back on. Anyways, now that it's on, I feel good. Um, thankfully my boot is still working even though it's uh, burnt off if you missed the last portion of this. Anyways, I gotta get this canoe loaded up. We got a big day ahead of us and I can't waste any more time. Alright guys, I made it through the portage. I am now on the two biggest lakes of the trip. Well, biggest lake and then the next biggest lake, which will be Big Trout Lake and White Trout Lake. Both pretty popular lakes. I'm a little nervous because it's windy today and those are uh, definitely some big water. So um, hopefully the wind is in my favor. Yeah, the lake I was just on actually was really cool. And one of those lakes you could probably stay a couple of days at. The only thing is the distance to get there is pretty ridiculous. Like without doing it the way I just did it um, and smashing it out and getting there in two days, it takes you three days for sure. And then if you stayed a couple of days there, you're already looking at a five day trip before you leave that lake. So you're looking at seven, eight days with that lake being your goal so anyways oh. I've made it to uh, the campsite here. I stopped to have like a snack and kind of just catch some wind here. Well, I'm catching a lot of wind the whole way. It is crazy out there. Um, I actually almost tipped in white trout. I, I tried to realign myself because I was getting pushed so hard by the wind and uh, I just caught. <laughs> I almost caught in the water, thank God. Um, I'm in a kind of better areas now, better water, but it's, it's like a valley, so the wind is just pounding, and of course, no matter where I go, I find headwinds. <sighs> yeah. I would consider honestly staying here, but this site is like... Just wide open, so... I, it would be a long haul just to sit here and uh, wait this out, so... I'm gonna keep pushing, it might take me a long time, but that's okay. That's uh, just kind of the way it goes. <sighs> All right. Yeah. <sighs> 
All right, I have made it to the portage, which is supposed to be into the last lake of the day, but I might push on to make uh, tomorrow a little bit easier. We'll see what the wind is like. But I, I've done a horrible job, I feel, filming today. Honestly, the wind has been ridiculous. It is still raining. Like, it's not raining hard. It's just been misting the entire day, which is no good for my main camera. And then I've just been having some battery issues as well with the GoPros. But anyways, I've made it across this bay. There wasn't much to see, honestly. I've just been paddling and paddling and paddling and haven't been able to stop. Otherwise, I'd start heading the other way. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to grab the canoe and we're going to get to the other side of this portage. My body is sore. And so is my mind. But I just keep going because I don't have time for none of this nonsense. Keep it up. And you'll be back in the street when you go off. Beaver dams, man. I've been lugging this thing over beaver dams. I smashed into some rocks. I've been pretty aggressive to her, and like the underside still looks great. So, um, this Eskif Adirondack is a sweet canoe. I was a little nervous of just because just of the size, but this is like the perfect size for soloing. Um, I guess depending on the length of trip you do, but I've got all my gear in here that I want, and uh, I'm comfortable, baby. But yeah, anyways, just impressed with this thing. All right, I have made it to my destination lake for the night. Very beautiful lake here. Uh, it's McIntosh Lake. I was here a couple years ago when I did my big trout loop. Um, something about it, as soon as I came onto it, it's got a feeling in the air, you know? I actually seen the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen at this spot. Anyways, I would stay here, but I do want to take away some time from my trip tomorrow because I had to have a four hour drive after I get back to the access point. So I'm going to push on. Um, I'm putting the life jacket on. I had a, a pretty close call earlier and I should have already been wearing it. I just, I got into the headwinds when I figured out, yeah, I should be wearing this friggin' life jacket. Um, I know you should always wear a life jacket. I'm sure there'll be people that say that. Um, I don't, okay? I don't, and I should more often, and I am going to right now. So, there you go. Anyways, uh, <laughs> it's definitely some wind out here, so I'm gonna take my time, be safe, and if I can't make it across, I'll just camp. It is what it is, right? Here we go. Temperature has changed quite drastically. It's so much warmer than it was this morning. Oh yeah, by the way, there's white cap wings. Finally, after what seems like a decade, I am able to actually get big camera out to film some things. Feels good. Definitely was thinking I was gonna have to pull my canoe over those logs and was not looking forward to that. I'll take that as a win. Oh.
Well, another day is behind us here. Um, it, was a, it was a very big day. Headwinds almost everywhere I went. A few times it was a tailwind, but um, wow. I almost tipped the canoe and white trout, which was very scary. Um, really eye-opening. I've paddled a bit here, but I don't have years and years of experience, so I learned um, something on that point. I was crossing the lake, and the winds were coming into me, and it was like pulling me on me, like twist me. So I was trying to over paddle on the one end to catch it, and it wasn't working, so I tucked my paddle on the other side to try to bring my tail out, and it almost just pfft, immediately, it was, it was scary. So yeah, don't do that is the lesson there. But yeah, uh, most of the lakes I traveled today, I have already been through myself, so it wasn't much new on my end to see, just seeing it from the opposite direction. Um, I did see a bald eagle going through Grassy Bay area, which was cool to see. This afternoon, when the sun came out, honestly changed my entire mood. I, I was getting pretty down about this whole trip, and it, it's been a grind, it's been a real grind. I've been pushing myself, my body's hurting. Um, just wet and cold, wind, it's been a lot. And then <laughs> the sun came out this afternoon and I was like, I'm gonna pick the perfect site to watch the sunset and capture a cool sunset. And everything changed, my whole demeanor. I feel so much better. It's like, I was like, oh, okay, this is why I love this stuff. Like, so beautiful. Just on the side of a lake somewhere. Love it. Oh yeah, pro tip. Um, you know those like backpackers pantry pouches, the dry foods, or uh, what's that called? Um, dehydrated meals. So I had that and I had a sidekick. And sidekick looked terrible, didn't have much flavor. Pad Thai always tastes pretty darn good. So I mix it together. Still tastes the same as the Pad Thai, but I had way more volume. Because if you're like me, you're on a calorie deficit and you need as much calories as possible. So you can up your dehydrated meals by just getting more noodles or whatever filler you want and get more bang for your buck. Yeah. I need to uh, get some rest here, so I'm going to shut it down. Uh, Still a, a big day tomorrow, but I've taken some off my plate by cheating today and jumping ahead a couple lakes. So should have a little bit more time to fish and enough time to get home tomorrow night. All right, guys. I'll see you in the morning.